Good evening in our top story at five Providence nurses hit the picket lines with nearly 2000 of them now on strike calling for among other things higher wages and better mental health care. Thanks for joining us. I'm David Molko and while Providence brought in replacement nurses ahead of that walkout, the strike has already impacted services in some spots. Let's get right to Mike Benner, Providence Portland Medical Center. Mike, Portland is one of them. Remind us which other locations are affected. Yeah, David, uh, you said it. Providence Portland Medical Center is involved in this, and that explains the picketing that's going on behind me. These people have been out here since 530 this morning when the strike officially started. I can tell you that nurses are also picketing outside Providence Seaside and the Providence Home Services Building. This was the scene outside the Providence Home Services building on Northeast Halsey late Monday morning. A couple dozen nurses voicing their displeasure with Providence. It's pretty discouraging. I mean, to have to stand outside and hold a sign in order for, for the employer to do what's right, that should, shouldn't have to come to that. Peck Schneider is an occupational therapist for Providence and one of the approximately 1,800 nurses from Providence Portland, Providence Seaside, and Providence Home Health and Hospice who walked off the job Monday the start of a five-day strike. Well, I certainly hope this makes a difference. It seems like we're kind of uh, head on being challenged now, like kind of like go ahead and do your thing and you know, see you on the other side. Schneider and his cohorts want higher wages and better health care, including mental health care and more paid time off and sick leave. Providence officials say their offer to nurses included 30 additional hours of PTO over three years, as well as a 12% raise in the first year of a contract and additional 3% raises in the following two years. This is a challenging time for them, for our nurses, for our community, and for all of us. So it'll be important that as this strike concludes that we come back to the table are able to negotiate a fair contract and really move into healing and reconciliation. Jennifer Gentry says while Providence did hire replacement nurses to cover for the hundreds of nurses who are striking, there's still a noticeable impact to Providence Seaside Hospital and Providence Portland Medical Center. PPMC has reduced capacity by about 25% from normal operations, while Seaside has reduced capacity by about 50%. As for Providence Home Health and Hospice, Gentry says there will be no interruption in care. Replacement nurses will work in that space too, but Pack Schneider wonders how successful that'll be. We have a lot of really skilled clinicians and nurses, right? So what I do with patients, another person can't just show up and do. It doesn't work like that. And I don't think that our leadership understands that piece. All right, Pax, you just heard from there, has been with Providence uh, for about a decade. Uh, you know, he is really disheartened by this whole thing. He wants to get back to work and he will soon enough. We can tell you that this strike is slated to end late Friday. David. And we'll see what it means for negotiations after that. Thank you, Mike.